What is up, Turtle Squad? It's your boy Eric, and we're back with another video here at, in the man cave. So, believe it or not, this is the man cave. We've got it a little bit remodeled. We got a workbench down here because we're going to be filming a lot more RC videos for 2020, and we're going to be having a good time. Um, so, to start off, I know it's not yet 2020, but we're a couple days from Christmas. So, we're going to start with a new video. New video, new build, new territory. Let's just have a good time. And let's see what's on the bench. Alright, so on my bench today, um, I made a trip to my favorite shop of all time, JJ Customs LLC, here in San Jose, California. As always, links are going to be down below. But I've talked to him a little bit about builds that I've wanted to do, and this is going to be the first one of 2020. Um, one of, I think, three or four that we've got going on. And that we're gonna film and take care of you guys today. So this build is gonna be an easy one because it's not a build, it's more of a customization, uh, thanks to HPI. Bam! So today we've got an RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. So what this is is basically a slider chassis. So you have everything you need to go except for electronics, um, body, and wheels and tires. So um, I've, I'm a big fan of the RS4. If you've checked out my Holiday Shred video, um, if you've checked it out before, you know that I love these cars. If you've seen me at events, I always have my HPI RS4 Mustang. Let me grab it for a second. So if you've seen me at any events before, you have probably seen this Mustang. Just because this is such a fun thing to have, I can take it anywhere. It's four-wheel drive. It'll drive anywhere. And it's just a blast. It's durable. It's taken a beating. And this thing is still going to go with me everywhere I go. But I want to have something a little bit nicer for videos coming up, which is why we're building a new one. So... Um, the thing about this build, so I wanted to do something a little bit out of my comfort zone. Check out the, I guess it's a vlog. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's a vlog um, at JJ Customs of us buying this. And basically what happened is I wanted to build it, but I'm a Ford guy. I'm a muscle car guy. I'm a truck guy. So I wanted to do something different because not everybody's a Ford guy. So I wanted to do something that was out of my comfort zone. And so... Um, I looked around at the bodies that they had. They had a, a variety of bodies for on road. It's not necessarily JJ Custom's specialty, but they do cater to everything, so they had some in stock. So we actually ended up picking up a German car of all things. You know, nothing against German cars, but I ended up getting a uh, one tenth scale uh, RC Porsche 911 Carrera RSR body from Tamiya. So there's that. So you guys can, uh, if you guys want to take a look at this, um, it's kind of a cool body. It's a little bit of an older style Porsche. I know that HP actually has their um, Porsche that they have, but I think it was a little too uh, built, like the body kit. So I wanted something stock that I could build upon um, and kind of take that Creator Edition seriously and add my own flair to it. So um, we went ahead and got this because um, it was out of my comfort style. I've never built anything Porsche, anything VW in my life, um, anything rear motor. Uh, in real life so we wanted to go ahead and try something different and with that I wanted to make sure that I just I took it a step further you guys know my colorway if it's not gray if it's not black or purple I probably don't want it the closest that I've gotten further out of that is red um, with my new red build for the element that you guys will see on this channel going forward but that's because that's the color of my real car in real life so I wanted to go something a little bit different um, so I actually had Jason I just said hey I have a Porsche body and I need you to pick at least two colors. So um, these are the colors that he picked. And big thank you to Proline Racing for uh, supplying some great paints. So we're going to actually go ahead and paint. So he picked the colors. I have to figure out the body, body paint. So I, or the, the livery or whatever you want to call it. I'm going for a street car, but a little bit fancier street car. So um, he picked uh, Proline Paints Pearl Blue. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So it's got a little bit of a shine to it. I guess I can't. There we go. And then we went with standard white. So he really threw a curveball at me there because I've never painted any cars any form of blue. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. We'll play with it. I have a couple of, um, you know, we'll, we'll add some black in there to, uh, like, as, uh, like, backing and, like, trim. But we're going to go ahead and make it mostly blue and white, if not all. But I did... <clears throat> I have always been a fan of this color scheme. 
I've seen this since he opened his shop. You know, drift guys don't necessarily come into JJ Customs, but he's had these wheels on the wall for a while. He had a couple sets of them, and this is the last set he's got. But I thought that a, a pearl blue with some white wall gold wheels. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful right there. So. Again, this was all picked up at my local hobby shop. I will go ahead and see if I can find some links to um, like these kinds of uh, these wheels and those tire or that body, and I will post them down below so you can take a look at them for yourselves if you want to build along with me. But let's go ahead and just dive into this and see what we've got. I want to kind of keep this short and sweet. Oh, included in the box, and I like it because it's already assembled. Not that I don't like building stuff, but again, quick build. So we've got our manual. Some HPI racing uh, decals. We have got um, our plastic bumper, some plastic bits, servo mounts. Uh, it looks like body mounts as well, which I don't know that we're really going to use because I think we're going to go magnets, but we'll see. All right. So here it is. Real simple, already built, ready to go. Just add your electronics, add your wheels and tires and set up and go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is gonna be a fun one for me. I am so excited. This is something that is not, that, like I said, it's out of the realm of what I do as far as like body choice and color choice. So we're gonna have fun with it. Um, it's kind of funny because um, Hemistorm actually did something similar to this. Um, and if you don't know who Hemistorm is, I mean, I don't know where you've been because my boy's got a lot of, uh, a lot of subs out there, but he actually did the HPI body. And I don't even know if this body is going to work, but we're just going to go ahead. Actually, look at that. Like it was meant to be. So, I'm stoked. This is going to be a good build. This is going to be a good time, and I hope you guys tune in to the rest of the build. And tune in to the channel. So if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, please make sure you check me out on Instagram because that is where I post updates and that is where I've been posting the most recently. So if you're interested in my RC builds and knowing where I'm at, what I'm doing, uh, who I'm doing it with, Instagram is the place to go. So check all of that out down below, Black Turtle Garage. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.